Aloha, everyone. Thank you for watching Maui Alert this evening. We do appreciate you being here. Another sad story to tell you about this evening and another snorkeling death to tell you about this evening. This one happened in Wailea, and we're just getting news of this incident that occurred yesterday. And this time it involves an um, important personality in Colorado state government. He uh, was a well-known figure in many circles there. In Maui South Waters, trouble overtook a visitor from Colorado yesterday. 56-year-old Gregory Smith was found floating face down near Wailea Beach around noon on Tuesday. Bystanders gave him CPR, but he couldn't be revived. Smith was an attorney and director of Colorado's public pension fund called PARA. Maui has now had at least six snorkeling-related deaths since August. And besides those six deaths, several other near deaths, uh, people pulled out of the water and resuscitated, some without pulses when they came to shore and then revived while on shore, near, near misses to say the least. Uh, the cause of Smith's death, whether it was a heart attack or a drowning or what it was, is still under investigation. Well, in weather, it's going to get wet and it is going to get very windy at times. Take a look at what's in store for you tomorrow. Even sunny Kihei got rain this morning. Tomorrow should be mostly sunny with a chance of rain again tomorrow night in Kihei. Central Maui will also be mostly sunny during the day Thursday. The overnight low gets down to 64 for most of the island tonight. The high will only be 78 tomorrow. And powerful winds return tomorrow. We can expect sustained winds of 25 to 30 miles an hour. Kihei could get gusts up to 44 miles an hour. Okay, and to be clear, that low temperature overnight will be 64 degrees, not 64 miles an hour. Possible gusts, though, tomorrow of up to 44 miles an hour, particularly in the Kihei area. So it will get quite windy. And of course, that high surf advisory that we've been paying attention to all week, well, that's not going to get any better with this wind. In fact, it will remain in effect until tomorrow night at 6 at least. That's when the current uh, advisory that's in effect, that uh, high surf warning, is set to expire. But we'll see what those uh, high winds do to that surf. And we are going to have more, more Maui Alert for you coming up in just a moment. Who are you? Me, real estate agent. How are you going to sell my house? Me have... For she should have called the Maui home seller, Digital Visual Live. Their cutting edge technology turns your home into a live television studio. The whole world can come to your living room for live broadcasts and interactive open houses. Yeah, not so much. <sighs> Don't call a caveman, call the Maui home seller at 808-436-7021. That's 436-7021. Because a for sale sign just isn't enough anymore. Some high quality actors there, that's for sure. Well, just to update you on a story that we told you about last night, that meeting about moving the lifeguard station in Kanapali near Black Rock. Well, according to our friends at the Maui News, uh, that meeting basically got nowhere. Uh, people were uh, very disinclined to have that lifeguard station be moved closer to Black Rock. So uh, apparently that's a no-go. But as we saw tonight with tonight's top story, there is definitely a need in certain circumstances to deal with this ongoing issue of people getting into distress in the waters. So we'll see what happens from there on that score. That's it for now, everybody. Thank you for watching Maui Alert News, your only daily source for live video news, breaking news, stories, all kinds of unique content told in a way that nobody else can do it on the island. Nobody else is doing it on the island. And we appreciate you being here. And we appreciate you supporting us by telling your friends, sharing, liking, doing everything you can to get the word out about Maui Alert. It's the only way we ask you to pay us. And we appreciate you doing so. That's it for now, everybody. Aloha!